Damn. What time is it? Game time. Uh, uh, story time, actually. Story time, too. Matter of fact. Uh, yeah. So check this out, man. Um, Every now and then, you have like certain moments in your career that just make you feel like an absolute star. Um, I was fortunate enough to have a lot of those, um, still having a lot of those, you know what I mean, that I'm, that I'm still processing. But um, as I look back over my life in like phase one of my career, uh, back when I was going by the name Eclipse, um, people still call me Eclipse then, that's like a nickname, but now it's like the name name. But um, when I was coming up, I was, um, I was noticing um, a, a lot of different aspects of the scene, like people that would come through with, uh, you know, magazines or DVDs and TV shows and all this good type of stuff that was, you know, just different outlets for for independent artists to really do their thing. Um, I appreciate people for doing stuff like that because it made us all feel super important. You know what I'm saying? Because because we were. Now I started noticing uh, a little magazine called Ozone. Um, Obin, because it came from Orlando, you feel me? So I started looking at these joints, um, and they were like really small, really small little mini magazines, you know what I'm saying? And they had a lot of people that you did know, a lot of people that you did not know. Um, it was just a, it just looked really cool. And after a while, they started getting bigger and bigger, and I started seeing a lot of people that I looked up to, like uh, Kamikaze and um, a lot of like radio people, and all these other people start like being street reps for the magazine. and. I got to know a lady by the name of Julia Beverly, uh, we call her JB. She was the one behind um, Ozone Magazine. She was the editor. She was uh, taking all the pictures and or a lot of the pictures and, and all that good stuff. She was she was, she was was on the scene a lot, you know what I mean? Shout out to her and her whole team uh, from Maurice and Miss River City and everybody back in those days. But we used to see JB on the scene so much, man. So when I would go to certain major events, like uh, when Kamikaze did his You Ain't Hard video shoot, um, when uh, you know people would throw like big parties and stuff like that, uh, where a lot of like the who's who of the independent scene would come around, you would expect to see Ozone magazine, and if you're lucky, you might get a you know, like a like a picture in there. You know what I'm saying? They got like a lot of little uh, little sections where you see little bitty pictures. You know what I'm saying? Of everybody that's just kind of out and about. They got everybody's names, like they were showing love. You know, making everybody feel important because we were. Now. Um, I was hoping one day that I'd be in this magazine, maybe even one day cover this magazine or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, as time went on and uh, everybody kept networking and traveling, moving, grooving, my boy Big Bird, shout out to Big Bird, he used to be a DJ at 106.3, uh, he was definitely one of the people that showed nothing but love to the independent scene, he cared about the independent artists, you know what I'm saying? We always appreciate him for that. Um, he became a street rep for them, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you, you can go to the radio station and get the Ozone magazine straight from him. So I went to holler at him um, about what I could do to maybe get in the magazine. And Big Bird, who really didn't have to do this, um, he kind of did like a, he wrote up a proposal, if you will, to send to Julia Beverly, um, saying why, you know, Eclipse should be in the Ozone magazine. And she took his word for it. They reached out to him. So I, I, I didn't know how I was going to go. And I was super duper excited, you know what I'm saying? Um, and uh, I think this is like 06 or something like that. I got a phone call from a guy by the name of Maurice Garland. And that's how my interview took place. I didn't know how they was going to do it. You know what I mean? I never done nothing like this before. But I was just excited to be in the thing. So Maurice calls me up, you know what I'm saying? Asked me some questions, you know what I'm saying? I give all my best rapper answers. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, let them know about how I started. Let them know about... Um, when I first started writing, my mixtapes coming out, I, I think I was uh, promoting the Who Is This Kid mixtape at the time. Um, you know what I mean? It was just a dope experience and I and I just couldn't believe it was happening. So uh, later on that year, when we went to the first annual Ozone Magazine Awards, which is a whole nother story time Tuesday in itself, I actually ran into Maurice, man. He was a cool cat. Let me know, yeah, man, the interview was coming up, you know, blah, blah, blah. What I didn't know is it was gonna be in their fourth annual uh, patiently waiting edition. Cause uh, they, see here's the thing, Ozone had this section that was uh, called Patiently Waiting. And it was about all the upcoming artists that were doing their thing that you may haven't heard of yet. So they make sure they put a spotlight on them. And I always love that. So to my knowledge, um, that's what they reached out to before. But to my knowledge, I'm the only South Mississippi artist that got a full page spread in the Ozone magazine. Um, and I still got the magazine, you feel me? This is the fourth annual edition, Ludacris on one side. Switch the house on the other, you know what I'm saying? You see a little scrappy face up in there for you was putting them paws on them. You know what I'm saying? DG Yola in the corner, this one right here, man. There I go. Page 62. 
I still got the physical magazine. You know what I'm talking about? I'm, I'm sure it's worth like thousands of, uh, of cents right now because I, I hadn't taken the best best care of it, but you know, we take a pretty good care of it. It's still here, right? So, um, you know, uh, I'm, let me see, I'm in this one, uh, Paul, the Paul Walls in his jerk, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, who else you had in here? I was in this joint, you know what I'm saying? Currency is in this joint, uh, Lil Rue is in this joint, Papa Duck is in here, Spark Dog is in here. DJ Unk is in here, you know what I'm saying? D4L is up in here, notable alumni. Uh, it, Big Tuck, I, look, look, man, I was in, I was in good company to say the least, you know what I'm saying? But that was like, I don't know, man. When I, when I, when I got these magazines, when they came to our radio station, I grabbed as many of them as I could, and I took them back to the hood, man. I took them back through Columbia, I took them back through Little River, Second Hole, I took them back through everywhere, bro. And so many people were super duper proud of me, and 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 it just, I don't know, man, like. None of us had really been in anything like that that I can recall. Um, and if we have, it had been a long time, but I can't remember. Um, but it was just a real big moment for me, a big moment for my city. It was a big moment for just, um, just I don't know, man. It's just good to see the underdog out there actually making some headway and doing his thing, you feel me? So um, I look forward to many more moments like this, you know what I'm saying? From uh, magazine spots to more interviews. Y'all you know, know I like talk. So uh, just whatever, but big shout out once again to uh, Julia Beverly. Uh, Y'all also may know her as uh, the author of the uh, Pimp C biography. Um, and what else, man? Um, which I bought that book in here somewhere. Um, I bought the book and got her to sign it. Um, and you've probably seen her on like uh, tour with Jay Prince as he was promoting his book. Like Julia, but JB is every damn where, you know what I'm saying? I haven't seen her in person in a minute, but it's all love. Um, but yeah, man, um, much love to y'all. You know, uh, Ozone Magazine was huge uh, and it, it was international. It was just, it was, it was, it was such a, a, a dope thing to be a part of in that era. Uh, to my knowledge, Ozone Magazine is no more. Um, but it was a hell of a time and we appreciate all the love that y'all showed the independent artists from the independent to the independent majors to whatever man like y'all really did y'all thing we salute y'all for that so that's all i got for y'all today man that was just about my first time being in a major magazine you know what i'm saying i would never forget it uh it was just an awesome time so um y'all know what to do man if you're on youtube hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so y'all know what's up um if you're on facebook hit the community tab scroll down your friends list and as you see each name you see that little invite button hit that invite so they can like my facebook page so they can like eat please and nobody eat please and know what's happening you know what i'm saying y'all keep sharing my story time tuesday biz i appreciate y'all more than you know until next time I'm on blurry. There we go. Yeah, I just want to get proof that I supported Julia Beverly's book so she don't never forget it. Ever. Ever, ever. <laughs>